With the NBA season over halfway complete, there have been many rumblings about free agency this summer. Between contending teams looking to make huge signings to a small number of stars being on the market, there have been a ton of talks about Zach Levine and his free agency decision. But what if I told you, Levine has already decided where he will sign, and he could very well win a championship with his team very soon. Today we have to talk Zach Levine and the Chicago Bulls, in particular taking a deep dive into why Levine is almost guaranteed to re-sign with this team, along with some other teams that could try and pry Levine away from the Windy City. But before we get into that, Zach Levine said if this video gets 500 likes he will stay in Chicago, so if you want to see that happen along with fire NBA videos every day, be sure to like and subscribe. But all jokes aside, let's talk Bulls. Just a year ago, if you would have asked the average Bulls fan what their feelings on Levine leaving the team were, they likely would have said something along the lines of nervous, potentially heartbreaking, or just the usual for this team. Taking a look at the Bulls team just last year, they were far from good to say the least. Sure, they had some solid young talents around Levine with Colby White and Lowry Markkinen, but other than that, the Bulls just did not have the pieces to win now. But man have things changed. As you all know, the Bulls made a frenzy of moves, acquiring big man Nikola Vucevic last year at the trade deadline and signing very notable players such as DeMar DeRozan, Lonzo Ball, and Alex Caruso during the offseason. The main priority of the Bulls at this point was very clear, do as much as they can to win now and keep Levine in the Windy City. And well, to say their plan came together flawlessly might just be an understatement. At the moment, the Chicago Bulls are tied with the Miami Heat for the number one seed in the East, and even though this team has battled health and safety protocols along with injuries this year, they have shown that they are a legitimate threat to take the East with their fast-paced offense and surprisingly solid defense. To put it simply, the stars of this team in Levine and DeRozan have been putting on an absolute clinic, and with the help of elite depth, the Bulls have made their dominance look easy this season, so there's no reason for Levine not to resign, right? Well, surprisingly, for once I have to say that it seems like there is no way Levine leaves the Bulls this season, but why exactly is that the case? Well, I believe there are 5 reasons why Levine will likely stay with this team, so let's get right into those and then discuss the only instance in which Levine would leave and where he would go. As mentioned, the stars and depth of this Bulls team has been top tier this season, so much so that I believe this is the main reason why Levine will stay. I know it may seem cliche, but as a fan watching this team, it seems like they've built a new culture for this team centered around playing hard and straight up hustling, which at the end of the day is all that you can ask for if you're a star like Levine. If you know your teammates will put it all out there night in and night out, along with the fact that they are constantly trying to improve their game, there is really no reason to leave the team. The hustle culture of this team has really shown over the past 4 game win streak, which brings us right into the main reason why Levine will likely resign. The team is literally dominating and winning without Levine. An NBA star's dream is to have a roster good enough to win games even if they're injured, and being that the Bulls have been winning games consistently while Levine is out with knee soreness, I think it's safe to say that they have shown him everything he needs to see, and possibly convinced him to re-sign this summer. The main story and reason for this team's success while Levine has been out isn't the depth though, it's actually been the reborn star DeMar DeRozan who has made it very clear that he's back to his all-star form that we all knew and loved in Toronto. At the time of the DeRozan signing, many NBA fans believed that the Bulls actually overpaid for DeRozan. Sure, he was good in San Antonio, but people were just unsure about his fit alongside Levine and Vucevic, but honestly, DeMar DeRozan has been an absolutely perfect fit for Zach Levine, so much so that this alone should convince him to re-sign. Levine and DeRozan are one of the most unique duos in the entire league, because even though they are both offense first players, the ways in which they get their buckets are nearly polar opposites, which is what makes the Bulls offense so dangerous. Levine is a perimeter centric guard that can also get to the rack when needed, and DeRozan, well to say the least, he is a mid range master that also has put in a lot of work in the low post this year. Sure, he will shoot the 3 ball occasionally, but for the most part, DeMar puts in his work just inside the 3 point arc. And with 2 scoring threats like this on the floor at the same time, the Bulls have been one of the most best offensive teams in the entire NBA this season. The fit with these two stars is surprisingly seamless, which has led me to conclude that unless things go horribly wrong in the playoffs, Levine will likely try to continue to win now with the Bulls and DeMar DeRozan, for at least the rest of his late prime. But even though DeRozan is great, there is another very underlooked reason that Levine will stay in Chicago for years to come, that being their stability. If you would have told me last year that the Chicago Bulls would be one of the most likely stable winning teams in 2022 and beyond, I would have called you crazy. But here we are. This team's entire core aside from Levine are locked into long-term contracts for at least the next couple of seasons, which also makes them one of the most stable winning teams in the entire league. 
Sure, a team like the Nets or somewhere similar might look appealing at first, but we have to keep in mind that players really value chemistry and keeping a core together to build something special. When a contending team like the Nets or Lakers is always moving pieces around, it can be tough to build trust and chemistry. And even though Levine obviously wouldn't get traded from a team like that if he signed there, it can still create locker room tension if an unpopular trade goes down. The Bulls team has almost all of their main pieces under contract, so if they're able to win in the postseason and Levine sees the potential of this team winning it all, there's really no reason for him to leave. Even if the Bulls do struggle in the postseason, I believe Levine should stay for one reason and one reason only. The Bulls franchise believed in this man and took a huge risk when trading for him. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but when the Bulls traded for Levine, he was out with a torn ACL, and they dealt star Jimmy Butler to get him. Now I know this team would have likely traded Jimmy anyways because he was disgruntled, but Levine was a big gamble for this team. As a Timberwolves fan who watched this injury happen, I honestly did not think that Levine would bounce back to what he was at the time, let alone what he is now. I'm very happy that Levine proved me wrong, but back to the main point, the Bulls value and believe in Levine. This team took a gamble when they traded for him, and they took another gamble with their trades in the past season to build around him. It is clear that the Bulls franchise is committed to getting Levine what he needs to win at the highest level, so why would you leave a franchise like that? The short answer to this whole thing is that he shouldn't leave, and in addition to the commitment of the franchise, I believe this Bulls team hasn't even reached their full potential just yet. People are quick to forget that this team has a potential two-way star in Patrick Williams just sitting on the sideline, and next season when he comes back, there is a very good chance that he wreaks havoc on the league. On top of that, I believe there is still a lot of room for players like Lonzo Ball and Nikola Vucevic to grow. Zoe has been great in his role this year, but I am still under the impression that he can be a 20 plus point per game scorer and potentially all-star player in the future. Plain and simple, the Bulls have not peaked yet, and being that they have the one seed right now, if I were Levine, I'd stick around and see what this special core can do. Despite the immense amount of reasons for Levine to stay with Chicago, we have to talk about the harsh truth that there is a small chance he could leave this summer. Sure, the Bulls are the perfect franchise for Levine, and they're winning right now, but at the end of the day, a lot of it comes down to business for players, so if Levine isn't 100% sure about the future of this team for whatever reason, there is a chance that he could leave. Do not get it twisted, I don't think this will happen, but I still wanted to discuss why Levine could leave and where he could possibly go for those wondering, but again, this is pretty much for fun because I do not see this man leaving this summer. The only instance in which I see a sliver of a chance at Levine leaving is this scenario. The Bulls make the playoffs as the first or second seed and lose in the first round with DeMar DeRozan choking in the playoffs. On top of that, I think that locker room issues would have to occur for Levine to leave, and even though the odds of this happening are slim to none, you really never know in a league like the NBA. In the instance that this does happen, there are three teams I believe Levine could realistically consider joining for the 2023 season and beyond, those three teams being the Trailblazers, Grizzlies, and Cavaliers. In almost all instances, a sign and trade would likely have to go down, because the only teams with cap space will be rebuilding ones. But let me just give my pitch for all these teams and why they could get Levine if he wants out from the Bulls. For the Trailblazers, the reason this team tries to make this move is obvious. They have one last year to try and convince Damian Lillard that they can win, or else he might just leave, and pairing Levine with Dame along with a solid core could lead to the Blazers making a deep playoff run. This is not the best destination for Levine in my opinion, but I believe it would be one of the most likely if Dame ended up calling Levine and trying to recruit him. The two better options in my opinion consist of the Grizzlies and Cavs, both of which are young teams with insane potential for the future. Starting with the Grizzlies, pairing high flyers John Morant and Levine might just create the most exciting NBA backcourt in the entire league. The Grizzlies have made it very clear that they are legit this year and have the core to win now, and Levine would be the cherry on top to make this team true contenders. Levine would bring some of the shooting that the Grizzlies need, and he would take some of the scoring burden off of John ja Morant. Like I said, a sign and trade would have to go down, but I think the Grizzlies would jump on the chance to get Levine if given the opportunity. But the Cavs, in my opinion, are surprisingly the best option for Levine. This team has a young guard in Colin Sexton that they could sign and trade to make the deal happen, and Levine would also put this team over the top and make them a true contender. With the core of Garland, Allen, Mobley, and Levine, the Cavs would be set for winning now, and would have a half decade to do so if everything went right. Plain and simple, the fit on the Cavs would be amazing, and there is a chance that they push to make a win now move like this in the offseason. All in all, Levine will likely stay in Chicago for all the reasons I mentioned, because let's be real here, the Bulls are legit, and they have a chance to shock everyone this season and in the future. Comment how far you think the Chicago Bulls will make it in the playoffs this year, and other than that, thank you all so much for watching, I'll catch you all in the next one, Woods out.